Hey tea heads, this is Don from Mayleaf. In this video, introducing our Pasha Gushu Pua. In this video, we're going to be tasting and hopefully approving our latest batch of Gushu Pua mm. from Pasha Mountains. This video is going to go under the single tea tastings and the drinking with friends playlist. If at any point in time you enjoy this video, then please give the video the thumbs up. The more thumbs in the air, the more tea videos are going to come your way. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, then go oh, click, click that, that button. button. So I'm here with Celine. Hello. <laughs> it's a Thursday night. Thursday I'm losing night. all sense of time. Thursday night at Me about 10, 10 p.m. on the dot. Um, we've been working the whole day, so we're both a bit exhausted, mm. but we wanted to approve, hopefully, this latest batch of Gushu Pua that has just arrived so that we can put it out and you guys can get hold of it. So, mm. those of you who watched our Christmas special, we tasted, uh, at that time, unknown yeah. Gushu Pua with Celine and Lucy, and we really yeah. liked it. We was quite, quite, I was quite shocked, actually, because it was so so tasty. It was very tasty so, and very different and we'd been trying to find a uh, replacement for Tiger Spirit yeah. um, which was our, our, our really popular um, Gushu Pua from 2015 yeah. um, and we were searching and searching and yeah. a new farmer that we found sent us these, this cake. We tried it, I'll put a link in the description below so you can watch it and we were really surprised by it. Weren't so we? good, it's so good. So we tasted it a bit more um, off camera yeah. and we decided to order it so it has just arrived mm. from Yunnan and we are going to be unwrapping it and hopefully we will approve like it. Like it. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Not so, another one of those videos It's like, oh no. <laughs> yeah, no, please no. Um, so this is a uh, May Leaf tea cake and I'm going to show you, I'll let Celine show you the design <laughs> for this. Um, go on, go for it. Show the design. And we, we, did a, we did a competition thing, didn't we? We did a competition on um, Instagram to guess which animal we picked for this uh, Gushu Pua. So we've done tiger, we've done owl, we've done dinosaurs. And we really thought long and hard, Celine and I, we were tasting the tea and trying mm. to work out what would be the perfect animal and the perfect kind of image that described the tea. Yeah. And why don't you show them what we came <laughs> okay. up with. Okay. Ready? Ready? Oh. Okay, hold it there. Just make sure it's straight. So, it's a flamingo with a monocle <laughs> in a library. Um, in, a, in a kind of steampunk uh, themed library. So, that kind of vintage library, um, complete with pineapple lamps. Um, I actually think that you've really outdone yourself with this one. This is an amazing, I think. Go close. Let's, let's keep oh. looking at it. This is an amazing, um, well... I think it's a it's a great illustration that you did, Thank um, you. and the tea cake is called Monocle Boss. Yeah, you Monocle came up with Boss. That name. Yes, that's so, a really good name. Monocle Boss. So we kind of looked at this character, and he looks like he's a bit of a kind of, I don't know. He looks a bit like he's a he's <laughs> he's the head of a clan, or he's a he's a mafia boss of some sort, and uh, he's there in his library. Okay, so. <laughs> This is yeah. Monocle Boss and uh, screen printed and uh, illustrated and screen printed by Celine. Mm. So let's quickly scope this tea before we get to taste it. This is a spring 2016 tea. We're speaking in January 2017, so it's under a year old, so still a young tea. Mm. The cultivar is the Daye Jong Asamika cultivar, the big leaf tea varietal used for Pua teas. The origin is Pasha Mountain. Pasha Mountain is um, in the Shishuangbana area of Yunnan province. Very, very, very classic revered mountain. The picking, this is very bud heavy, bud and up to three leaves. Um, but uh, Pasha is very well known for, for being very uh, rich in thick tea buds. And finally, the elevation. This is a high altitude tea. This is 1,000, about 1,700 meters. So really? kind of top layer of tea growing wow. altitude. So let's open it. Mm, I really hope it's a good one because I really like that one. Yeah, I mean. It and was... after all that work printing it, it's like, it has to be the one. So take a look at that. We've got a camera up oh, yeah. here, which is hopefully picking up the, um, 
No, don't move it oh. too much from there. Um, so it's hopefully picking it up, but we'll bring it to the camera um, too. As Sounds I said, good. one of the characteristics of Pasha is very, very silvery buds. Can you see how silvery those buds yeah. are? I'll bring it to the camera so you can take a look. It's, hopefully it's not. very beautiful. Like so cake. it's really, really um, heavy with um, silvery kind of antique silver, you know, silver and kind of antique silver, slightly tarnished silver buds. Um, nice thick buds and kind of, I guess, kind of a tortoise shell, kind of multi-toned leaves. Yeah. It's a gushu. This is definitely a gushu. The age of the tea trees, as always, impossible to get the exact age, but we're looking at around 300 to 500 years old. The diameter, the circumference of the tea trees that this was picked from are between 80 and 115 centimeters diameter. So it certainly is Gushu. And from our estimation and from reading the literature about Pasha Mountain, speaking to the farmers and looking at the circumference, our estimation is between 300 and five, up to 500 year old Gushu tea trees. Mm. Um, and you can certainly see that the leaves are really, really thick and yeah, um, really looking sick. looking really really good so let's get in let's get in here and let's start tasting so i'm gonna take the pick and just break off the the cake is relatively loosely packed you can see it's pretty easy to oh yeah that's nice to open up so there's no big struggle here you're not going to be breaking oh, yeah. leaves okay oh yeah let's take some of these i tell you what we'll do we'll t put this over here yeah good idea we'll take some of these and put it down here Okay, undo yeah, them. you can start to undo them. Oh, so nice. Yeah, they come apart really easily. They're very large leaf. It's beautiful. Um, and very, uh, not so much large, but very much intact, aren't they? They're yeah. really intact, these leaves. The loose cake means that it's very easy to open it without breaking yeah. too much. I think that should be enough. Oh my God. So I'm gonna wrap Monocle Boss it away. so good already. Just from the dry leaves. So let's, I actually haven't done a formal tasting of this, so I don't know how much leaf to put in. So we're gonna do it by mm. eye now. Okay. So if you bring the guy one down. Yeah. Right there, let's put it on top of this. Yeah. Oh, one sec. It'll probably be around seven and a half grams usually. Let's see. Okay, you tell me when to stop. Don't look at that. You tell me when you think there's enough leaf. Okay, bit keep more. going. A little, a little bit more. I think that's good. You think that's good? Let me just what shake it think? a bit. Oh, maybe a bit more. Yeah, I think that's, that's about good. good. Yeah. So what's that? That's seven. So yeah, around five, around four and a half to five grams for every hundred mil of water. Maybe I was being a bit greedy. No, we're always a bit greedy. Both, <laughs> of us, both of us are greedy. Okay, so keep those leaves. Let's bring the guru round. We deserve it. We worked hard today. Uh, yeah. Treating ourselves. Okay, actually what we should do is let's do this properly. And why don't I put this in here yeah. and then you can put some Ooh, hot yeah. water in here so we can smell the dry leaf. Sounds good. I'm going to put my phone away to stop myself from always focusing. <laughs> um, okay, so. I'm just gonna so what we found with the Christmas, um, when we did the Christmas one, was that it was very much um, an interesting tea. It was a kind of a mixture, wasn't it, of yeah. something quite old about it. Uh, Lucy was talking about, you know, library and books yeah. and stone. And but then it was also and... something quite fresh about it. Yeah. So that's why we picked the theme of the flamingo in an old library. So it kind of that, that contrast, we wanted to bring that contrast out. Yeah. Okay, so go on, have a sniff of those leaves and see what you think. Hopefully it's going to be okay. Oh, when was the last time we tried good. the pasha? It was a, at least three or four weeks ago, wasn't it? Yeah, because it took me a while to do that drawing. No, but from the original cake at Christmas, when did we last try? About three weeks ago? I think so. Yeah. That sounds about right. I, I mean, it smells like how I remember it. Okay. So... Yeah, it smells exactly how yeah. I remember it. So... <laughs> So how can we describe that smell? I remember at Christmas I was trying to, to say that it was something like wet skin, but 
Oh um, yeah, <laughs> I forgot about that. Wet skin. What are you getting? So far, so good though. There is, that's that mineral smell, that rock smell. Like, um, mm. it reminds me what Lucy was saying, which is a sea, like salt on rocks. It's got a salt, it's got a salt water smell. <laughs> yeah. Salt water, and then you've got that caramel toffee, dark toffee. Oh yeah, dark, dark toffee. toffee. Dark toffee, salt water. But then there is that leather, leather right? There's, there's leather. that that there's that book, that library kind of you know leather and leather couches mm. and that kind of older, more antiquey smell to it. Yeah, we should show the leaves actually. It's, That's true. It's... Hold on one second, make sure it's in focus. Go as close as you can. Okay. Boom. In there your you. face. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, so there we have it. Yeah. Let's give it a rinse and then we can uh, smell the wet leaf. So we were using boiling water as hot as possible, yeah. maybe about 97, 98 degrees um, in the thermos. Maybe it's cooled down to about 96, which is about uh, 205, something like that. I'm using my left hand. I never do this. Yeah, you're trying to learn to be ambidextrous. Yes. Okay. So how does that smell, the wet leaf? Oh. Oh yeah, <laughs> sorry guys. Yes, that's that's the one. That's the one. It's just so intense. It's like it's it's so full of lots of flavors and and rich and kind of a bit creamy and minerally and oh, it's just what does got it so smell much. Like? I, it's so it's one. This is this tea is probably one of the most difficult teas for me to to kind of tease out yeah. what it smells like. I keep... It's like a perfect balance of this exotic, exotic It's leaves. exotic, definitely. The flamingo works. Yeah, <laughs> the that's flamingo what... definitely works. <laughs> and, and, and the books and that library and that... It's, it's interesting because there's something really kind of musky about it, but at the same time really clean and zesty. Yeah. It's that combination. So the muskiness is kind of like, um, for me, it's like a cologne, like an, almost like, you know how, um, like an, mm. an older man's cologne, you know, those kind of slightly musky colognes, those quite heavy colognes. That's, like an oud or something. Yeah, like an... Mm, but yeah, less, but less, less, yeah. less than that. But like a... Uh, musky is the wrong word because that makes you think of kind of old and damp. But but that those very heavy, uh, quite rich colognes, it's got that, that sweetness that's dancing over it. If and, they added some flowers in it, then it would... Well, then I'm like, getting like, kind of very kind of cotton yeah. freshness as well. Cotton, yeah. Like cotton kind freshness. of... Like, um, like wet Like wet cotton, like wet clothes. Like if ah. you you know when you open up the the um, open machine. up the washing machine, <laughs> um, and you're getting the smell of kind of wet clean clothes mixed yeah. with that cologne, mixed with a kind of still that caramel toffiness is there as well. It's kind of but if you were using like soap, not just those really f you know flowery detergent. It's more yeah like yeah like yeah fresh yeah, yeah, soap. yeah yeah. It's not like a scented. No. Um, uh, detergent. It's just kind of got a soapy kind of fresh cotton. Yeah. Cotton. Um, so it's got that lightness and it's got this really dark that cologne kind of musky kind of yeah. smell. And th But there is also this sourness, like a, a sour fruitiness to it as well. Like a, a kind of fruity jamminess to it too. I, I just imagine that maybe that's what monocle boss smells like <laughs> that, that is as monocle in like boss. the actual bird <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> sorry that was a bit weird but <laughs> sniffing a flamingo in a library yeah sniffing it a certainly flamingo. is a very well quaffed and well washed Quaff. bird yes definitely but there's a fruitiness there's a, a sour fruitiness but like a jammy fruitiness too i can't quite put my finger on it anyway let's um do you know what, oh. what, can you figure out what, do you know what I mean about fruitiness? It's kind of um, like, not like, not sour cherries, maybe sour plums. Sour plums, yeah. But it's more like sweeter than that. It's jammy, isn't it? Yeah, it's more There's jammy. There's a jammy, it's like, it's like the sourness of a passion fruit. With dried but, plums. But with jamminess to it, it's like yeah. a passion fruit 
jam. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, okay, <laughs> let's let's jam. let's taste it. We're gonna give it about a, let's give it like a fifteen second steep. Cool. So count that in your head. That's about seven seconds. Eight. Nine. I'm on five. Yeah. yeah, you count slow. Slower slower than I do. That's about fifteen seconds. Oh I reckon. shoot. I reckon. Sounds. Look at the color of that. Okay. So let's show the color. Mm. I would say that that color is. What color is that? Oh. Uh, it's kind of. It's a bit cloudy. It's got. Cl it's definitely got clouds to it. Yeah. It's cloudy. It's like a cider or something, or like. A... Yeah, it's got a slight orange tinge to it. Just True. a slight peachy kind of orange tinge to it, I think. Oh, but it's yeah. like a cloudy kind of cloudy yeah, cloudy apple juice but with a slightly kind of peachy tinge to it. Yeah. Um and it's definitely, I don't know if you can see, but it's it has cloud, it's cloudy. And that cloudiness is a direct result of the fact that those leaves they're really really quite hairy they've got That's a lot true. of downy hair even That's the leaves true. are quite we have quite a thick kind of velvety coating of hair is that what happens yeah because it starts to break off and you start to get those particulates oh. in there okay so i'll pour here so that we can hopefully see it from that camera That's interesting it's true actually when you brew like a silver needle mm. and you put it in the light you see the little Strands of hair. Yeah, I want this cup. <laughs> yes, I want this one. So. Okay. Fine. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for watching. It's. I can really see that it's thick. The way the bubbles, the way the bubble is just floating on top of it. Oh yeah, true. Is it thick? It's very thick. It's like um, syrup, but not as heavy as a syrup. But it coats your mouth like a syrup. Yeah, but this is just the first infusion and that is very thick for the first mm. infusion but it's got a lot of floral notes i knew i wasn't doing, saying something wrong last time it's got floral notes for it's sure a, it does have floral notes mm. yeah i think if you're a bloom buster fan you'd definitely be a fan of this one don't you think I want to try the next infusion, but I am very excited at the moment. That is really thick. It's actually thicker than I remember from the first time we, from the first cake we tried. I, I find that it's even more of that, that sea air that I, I didn't remember it as much as that, like last time. Now I really taste that sea air in that cup. When you say sea air, you're talking about a kind of like mm. seaweediness or are you talking no like what a you... fresh yeah like sea salt like yeah um, sea salt it's yeah. not it, for me it's not when when you say sea air it yeah. makes me think of like being by the seaside and smelling like seaweed and stuff no not for seaweed me, for me it's like it's got that that salt water yeah salt air mist you yeah. know sea salt like mist. A hot you know what day, i'm gonna do you know i'm going to do it unfiltered Oh, it's darker now. So now, so second infusion is always the is always the, the better infusion. Um, oh yeah. Take a look at the color now, and the reason I did it unfiltered was because the amount of um, cloudiness of the first one with the filter on made me think that mm. if I do it unfiltered, it's going to be even better in terms of texture. And look how how much of the let's see if I can go closer. Look how much of the um, the downy hairs of the tea have gone into the, oh, yeah. the brew. It's looking <gasps> really cloudy and thick. You can really see it on our side. I am really excited to tr to taste this infusion. Stop moving around. I need to focus. <laughs> <Okay>. Sorry. <laughs> You're like doing this, dodging it. Okay, right. Uh, I'm so happy. Wait, 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 wait. This, uh, let's, let's. You think it still could be? I think it's, I think it's, yeah, it's definitely approved without a doubt from the first one. Cheesy. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, do it unfiltered. That is thick. Mm. I think that is one of the thickest, most syrupy teas. Do you think that by unfiltering it actually makes it more thick mm. because of the hairs? Yeah. Wow. 
Learned something new again. You know, I was so out of energy earlier. I'm so happy I'm having this right now. Okay, let's talk about flavor. Okay, it's thick, it's mm. syrupy. It's almost like coating my teeth. It's so thick, it's, it feels almost sticky. It's got a sticky coated, coating syrupy feel to it, which is really, really that's unusual. True, and I don't actually remember that from the first cake no. actually. So that's really interesting. Maybe, I don't know, but it feels thicker. It feels more viscous, syrupy and sticky. It's got like a sticky feel to it. It's almost like there's sugar in it. It's so rich. Mm. The flavor though is totally crazy. It's like, it has this amazing contrast. You've got this kind of zesty sweetness, this zesty, um, I said it at Christmas now, and I'm getting it again, this grapefruit zestiness, um, which is tingly and miner mineral and, and kind of, you know, if you kind of um, have a yeah. bit of grapefruit zest, it grapefruit. just- Zest. It's giving me like all kinds of crazy physical sensations on the tongue. And yes, it's um, very fizzy. It's very fizzy, it's really tingly and grapefruity. But then you're getting that leather and yeah. and library. Books. The library is all there. Books. It's like yeah. it's like a leather bound books, yeah. you know, those kind of It's not old... mo it's not mothy mothy. No, it's not... it's not it's no, it's not musty, it's not yeah. it's not kind of old in that no. way, but it tastes kind of like it's got that aged yeah. leather yeah. books and then it, it, it and it, and this was the same at Christmas it has this bitterness which comes for like a f not even a, it's like so fast it's instant it's, isn't it you almost yeah. don't notice it yeah it just comes and then moves to a floral sweetness yeah and now I'm getting much more floral notes yeah than I did at Christmas time yeah. Now I'm really, and the floral note is a really rich, heavy, sweet floral note so as well. Sweet. It's like, um, it's not even, it, it's, it's, it feels heavier than a jasmine. Definitely. I don't know what flower it would be, but it's, it's heavier than a, it feels like richer, like more, like an, is it an orchid or, um, not, I don't know. It's not lilacs, because that's quite. Lilacs are heavy, but it's not lilac. No. Um. But it's there, it's so present. When you breathe out through your nose, it yeah. really has this amazing floral. What's in between a lilac and an orchid? <laughs> it's like it's like a lily. It's like a lily. A lily. It's like a lily. A lily. You know those when you go and get a, a bouquet or someone if you're lucky enough, someone gives you a bouquet of flowers and it's got those lilies um, with that yeah. really quite pungent, rich um, yeah. Sweetness to it. No, definitely go unfiltered with this. Definitely go it's unfiltered. It's definitely more, it looks more, yeah, you're right, it looks more juicy. I actually think this is better tea than the tea that we sampled by actually quite a long way. I love the last one, but yeah. this one is something. Why do you think that is though? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's, I don't know. Maybe it's a bit older, maybe it's just... Start to age a little bit. I, I don't know, a slightly different, you know, slightly different blend of these of these trees, but it's... Uh, it's... Oh, it's so funny because it makes me think about the way that you used music as a, you know, descriptor for toning tea. Mm. And it's just like, it's just switched up a bit from yeah. Christmas. The texture is ramped up, yeah. the flavor is ramped up, this contrast that you're getting between old and new, between kind of deep and fresh. It's changed again. Yeah, it has. Literally, the first one How would you was describe it now? different from the second to the third. Now it's more, it's got less of the floral, a little bit less, and it's got more like the toffiness. A sweetness is quite intense. And the books, and less of the leather. It's like it's turned down the leather and the floral and boosted the kind of um, sea salt, like uh, toffee and books. But the grapefruit is still there. Oh, it smells good. And the floral for me is not something that comes immediately. The floral is afterwards. The floral is after the, the, after. the bitterness kind of 
the slight bitterness subsides, yeah. then the floral comes afterwards. Yeah. So I don't get that when I first drink it. When I first drink it, I'm getting the kind of salty air, toffee and grapefruit zest, mm. leather, and mm. then I swallow and then I get this incredible sensation in my mouth. Really, my mouth is... And it's not, uh, for a lot of puers, it's just on the side of the tongue. This yeah. feels like my complete it's tongue. In the middle. The, no, but the whole thing, even the inside of my cheeks, yeah. are reacting physically to this. Yeah. It's got such a... Zing. It's got, yeah, exactly. It's got, but it's not bitter. It's not a bitter zing. No. It's and a it's a not even an zing. astringency. It's yeah. like a, it's a, it's a tingling. It's yeah. a tingling sensation. Oh my God, guys. Whoever's gonna, the five people that's won a sample, look forward to hearing what you guys have to say. Which, oh, the, the Instagram competition yeah. we did. Yeah, we did an Instagram competition where you had to guess the animal. For those of you who um, are not on our Instagram, um, then we, we run these competitions every now and again. So a lot of people guessed Flamingo. So we're gonna pick five people to get a taster of this tea. And I'm telling you guys, Honestly, mm. if you like raw puers, you are in for a, a treat. treat. I, I, I'm actually blown away by this tea. Mm. This is this is this has exceeded my expectations. Really, it has. Puer tea is amazing. It's just so many different flavors. Here you go. Oh. You can see these thick, lustrous kind of um, pale olive green and uh, oh, so nice. hot, hot guy one. And, hot. Uh, <laughs> and a hot, hot guy one. Let me go a bit closer. Do you want me to go closer? No, no, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah. The really, really <laughs> nice thick, thick leaves and thick buds, a kind of, um, yeah, nice colors, like or yellow greens, you know. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, Okay, let's have another infusion. I'm already feeling it. Mm. Are you feeling it? I'm feeling a tingle in my head. <laughs> it's weird. It's kind of like, uh, I feel like I'm slightly, slightly getting stoned. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. am I meant to say that? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Not that you would know what that feels Sorry. like. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm like, I just feel really like, I'm really feeling it. I feel like I'm getting the sweats. Mm. And this is only four, three, three small cups, four cups only in. Only three, yeah, it's only three cups in. It's Are you really, feeling it? I'm definitely feeling like my body is fizzing. Does it's, that make sense? Yeah, it really is. It's, it's, it's a, a power, powerful tea. Yeah. I don't remember that from the first mm. cake. <sighs> no, it's true. I what don't time remember is it? that it's at like all. It's like ten twenty or something. And I am hyped. I'm getting seriously I'm hyped. I'm hyped. Let's go! <laughs> Let's I'm do bit, something. I'm bit, yeah, we have to be careful with this. We've got to work tomorrow. Mm. Oh my goodness. I'm not sleeping early at all. Wow, I'm getting this incredible cooling sensation. Sorry, it's happening. Getting this incredible cooling sensation as the, the sweat starts to tingle. And I'm getting, I feel kind of slightly excited, excitable. Yeah. But also, no, just no. A, yeah, don't don't no. do that. What am I doing? What um, am I doing? But you're quite high. Listen, I'm really high. <laughs> Are you feeling it? Like, I like, I'm feeling it's it. It's weird because I just finished that cup and then all of a sudden I went, Whish. it's really rushy. Yeah, it's a really rushy feeling. Yeah, and I'm not sure if that's because we did it unfiltered as well. Maybe that adds to it. Dun, dun, Ooh, dun. New tests, new experiments to do. <laughs> Test it out. <laughs> Um, so what is this? The fifth infusion? That's the fourth, isn't it? I, oh no, no, it's the fifth. It's the, it's the fifth. fifth. Still a... as dark as the first, or in fact darker than the first. Um, so I reckon this is going to be at least ten infusions. That um, other infusion was different again. The floral came back up. No, but you say that, but the reason is because the floral is something that comes afterwards. So uh, after you stop yeah. drinking, then the floral comes afterwards. Yeah, you get that yeah. real rich floral <laughs> note. Yeah, because I have it in my mouth right. Yeah. Right now. The floral comes after. At the beginning, it's 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 this thick, sticky. I'm still getting this really sticky sensation. Yeah. Cheers, everyone. I wasn't expecting the night to go this way. Sorry, no, I was cold. Now I'm not cold. <laughs> I 
Okay, so it kind of sounds a bit stupid, but you know, obviously we love all of our teas, right? Otherwise we wouldn't stock them. And, and it's always a bit of a strange thing because we're a tea yeah. house and we're, we sell teas and we're doing these videos. And obviously, you know, the teas that we purchase, the ones we love, and we're gonna tell you that we love them. But this tea, I, this tea has really, really sh shocked me, actually. I, I'm, I'm amazed at the level of the, the, the interest in my mouth, the physical sensation in my mouth, the feeling I'm getting, the kind of oh. high that I'm feeling. I, you know, this is, it's already, it's just January and this is already contender for me for Tea of the Year 2017. I mean, I, it's like... I can see, I can see that. I think that's, for me, that's like a daily driver slash treat slash... Wait, hold on. You can't be daily driver and a treat. I know, Unless you but... treat yourself every day. <laughs> yeah. Which you kind of do, she does. Uh, <laughs> what? If you enjoy your tea... I know, I know, but it. this is, this is, yeah, this is heavy though. This is quite, a, this is a strong tea. I don't think I could drink it every single day. I don't know, man. You, you know, it's addictive. <laughs> anyway, are, are we stopping? Can, can I keep brewing? I'm going to show them the gooshu. Uh, the, the gooshu. Look how thick. You're not close enough. Uh, You're not close how... enough. Oh, look how thick those stems are. That is <laughs> gushu. Little Thank gushu you. dancing leaf. Um, and let's quickly smell this, because this is important. Let's oh, smell. Yes. Oh. Step. Okay, so that cologne, that musty cologne, that really sweet, heavy cologne. Mm. And pancakes. Sweet pancakes. Smell this one. This one's going to be. So imagine sweet pancakes. Pancake batter. Pancake! <laughs> Isn't it? It's sweet pancakes and that kind of sweet cologne. Oh, with butter. There's a yes. bit of brown butter, isn't it? That yeah. beurre noisette, those, that kind of that dark brown butter in that. that that's what it is, yeah, the butter. Sorry. That's the dark toffee, it's that, it's I'm, that dark yeah, butter. I'm a big pancake fan, so. Yeah. Yes, you're right. Can I have a smell again? The, the cologne's softer, though. It's much yeah. more the noisette butter, butter noisette butter. But, it's, it, is, but yeah. it, is, it, is, it is like a cologne, though. It's there. It, it smell smells it. perfumed in a, in a really interesting way. And then you get the salt air as well. The salt is still there. Oh. Okay, last infusion before we say goodbye. I would say you smell it, but you can't smell it. I know. At some point, YouTube will do smell vision and... Uh, <gasps> Can you imagine? Yeah. That would be cool. <laughs> um, sixth infusion? I'm not sure. So guys, if you pick this up, <laughs> please try to, to do it unfiltered. Don't go through this. I'm sure by now your Gaiwan skills are good enough that you're not going to uh, dump a whole load of leaf. And these leaves are really whole, aren't yeah. they? They really are whole and they're big, thick, yeah. gooshy leaves. So you're not gonna you know, get too much in there. And anyway, whatever, just take it out. It's worth it. Just make it unfiltered because I really think it changes the texture. I'm getting a crazy sensation in my mouth now. Something that I really haven't experienced before. This sticky, sticky it's coated definitely feel. Definitely sticky coated. And a slight kind of clenching, just a slight clenching in my throat. You know how oh. some, some teas have that kind of lo quite locking feeling in the throat? Yeah. It's just a slight dryness just here. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Are you getting that as well? Yeah, I didn't notice it though. It's just, it's Until there. Until you just said. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> That's really weird. The power of suggestion. <laughs> no, I don't think it is. I, no, it's definitely there. I'm not imagining this. It is, right? My whole yeah. mouth, your whole mouth is tingling, but there's a little spot just there. You know what it is? It's because it's so intense in your mouth that you don't really think about it. Obviously, only you would come up with that. Well, here we go. Yeah, it's true. Last cup with you guys, and then I have a feeling that this is going to be a long night. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Monocle Holy Boss. Sorry. It is the name. That is the right name. It is the boss, man. This is the boss, this tea. And this boss keeps going. Wow. It's, it hasn't dimmed in the flavor at all. It's changed though. It's yeah. now I'm getting more of the minerality. I'm getting a little bit less of the grapefruit, a little bit more of the minerality and still got that really? salty. Yeah. I still get the grapefruit. It's all there. It's just, it's, it's just shifting. 
is shifting. So, mm. monocle boss. That's a good one. I'm gonna quickly show the cover again. Oh, this is <laughs> gonna get a mess, become a bit of a mess, but it's worth seeing one more time. In fact, you know what we're gonna do? Should just... I just quickly wrap it? No, 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 we'll just show the cover. Here oh. you go. <laughs> you even put some glitter in that brown, didn't you? Of course. He's special, that one. Shiny. Shiny. Okay, that is Monocle Boss, guys. This is a Pasha Raw Pua, um, and it's 2016, but it's just arrived in. Uh, we'll put a link in the description below, and a card will pop up there. Do not drink just before going to bed, like, <laughs> like we, have, we are doing now. Um, and uh, really, this is, this is a party tea. This is one for you to this is, break out with your friends. Go. Let's go out party. Let's do it. This is a session tea for sure. Cool. So pick some up if you'd like and see what you think. Put some uh, comments uh, down below if you do try it. We'd love to hear, hear what you think. Mm. That's it, T-Heads. If you made it to the end of this video, then please give the video the thumbs up. Check out mm -hmm. our YouTube playlist and let us know if there are any videos that you would like us to make. If you're ever in London, then come visit us in Camden to say hi and taste our wares. If you have any questions or comments, then please fire them over. Other than that, this is Celine. I am Don from Mayleaf. <laughs> Thank you for being a part of the revelation of true tea. Stay away from the tea bags, man. Keep drinking, keep the, drinking good the good stuff stuff. and spread the word because nobody deserves bad tea. No. Bye. Bye bye. <sighs> I've got more shivers going on. I'm actually sweating. <sighs> That's amazing. <laughs>